oh my gosh, I am standing in Walmart on a Saturday during back to school on tax holiday. I am never getting out of here alive. So here's the thing, I'm, I hate Walmart. I don't hate Walmart, the, like the concept or like Walmart, the company, or I don't wish they didn't exist or something like that. I hate going to Walmart. The parking lot stresses me out. The number of people who are shopping at Walmart just stresses me out and causes me so much anxiety. And so I just, I don't shop at Walmart. But if I find an item from Walmart that's like a good price, I'll order it from walmart.com and have it shipped, usually just shipped to my house. Like I don't even, do I don't even do in-store pickup because the parking lot the parking lot stresses me out um, sometimes I'll have something shipped to like a, the neighborhood market you know um, because it's a smaller store but like the bigger stores um, no, no just too much too 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 much so I have been looking for the pen and gear um, journal and planner items but I have not been able to find any of them on dot com well then I got the UPC codes from somebody um, online and uh, entered them in Brickseek and the items were not you couldn't find them and actually just fast forward a little bit when I was in a Walmart, that's how I finally found the items. And I scanned it to see the price because the place was a mess and they weren't, the items weren't above um, their price on the shelf. So um, even when I would scan the item with the Walmart app, it would say that the item wasn't available. So um, the pen and gear stuff, I don't know why it's so hard to get a hold of, but I finally found it. So I wanna show you everything that I found. But first, if you know me, if you've been watching my channel, so you know I've got a story about everything and you know I'm gonna share. Let me tell you how I ended up in a Walmart on a Saturday, in the middle of a back-to-school on the tax holiday. So, so I had lunch with my mother um, a few Saturdays ago, and she lives in another state, and so we drive to a town that's like halfway, uh, the halfway meeting place for us, and we meet halfway, and we will meet for lunch sometimes. And so usually we like to meet like at Ruby Tuesday because I love the salad bar, but the Ruby Tuesday, I don't know if it's nationwide, I don't know if the company is going out of business, but all of the Ruby Tuesday restaurants in my area, in my state are closing and that one finally closed. And so we couldn't meet there. And then the other place that we wanted to meet is a local restaurant that's been open for a bazillion years. Um, they closed, I guess they, but they didn't go out of business because they had a few locations, but that location closed. So we ended up at Cracker Barrel, which is fine. I like Cracker Barrel. And if you've watched some of my um, A Catholic Eats series, you know that I've been doing Weight Watchers and Oddly enough, Cracker Barrel has lots of points friendly items on their menu. So we had um, lunch, brunch, breakfast. Well, we met at like 11, but it was 12 her time. Anyway, we had lunch at the Cracker Barrel. And then as you do, after we went shopping in the Cracker Barrel. And the very conscientious sales lady there told us several times that um, all women's apparel was 25% um, off and no tax. And I mean, that sounded great to me, but I said, why? Is it no tax? I mean, that's fantastic, but why? Um, it's tax holiday. How did I not know it was the tax holiday? I, the sales tax holiday, every year I make sure to avoid shopping on the sales tax holiday because everybody's there and you, I just told you how I, people eek. So how did I miss it? But I hadn't heard anything about it. Nobody had said anything to me about the tax holiday. I did not know, but there we were at the Cracker Barrel. And so of course I found an outfit. Well, not an outfit because does Cracker Barrel sell bottoms or I only ever, see the tops. Anyway, I got a nice top and a, like a sweater, like a duster to go over it for the fall um, because it was 25% off in those sales tax. My mother is a terrible influence on me when we go shopping, as is my aunt and my cousin. I think it's a family thing. Anyway, we all encourage one another to purchase items or enable might be a better word. So I purchased the item. So I was headed home and on my way up there um, that day, I had passed by a Walmart that I could sort of see from the interstate and it wasn't too close to the interstate. I sort of, you know, noted that it, the parking lot didn't look horrendous from the interstate anyway. And, and so anyway, on the way back, I thought I'm going to check out this Walmart that's here because I need new pajamas. All of my pajamas are too big. And so I need some new pajamas and just some inexpensive cute pajamas. So I'm going to check out this Walmart. And then I thought, well, gosh, if I'm going to be in a Walmart, I might as well see if they have the pen and gear stuff. So I pull into the parking lot. I don't really have a big problem in the parking lot. Um, it's not too packed. So I made it into Walmart and I thought, well, I, I thought I should check out the pen and gear stuff first and um, trying to figure out where it would be. One of the things that stresses me out about Walmart is that it's just so huge and it seems like always whatever I want is all the way back there or all the way back there. But the back, all the back to school stuff was up front and I thought, mm, pen and gear, it's gonna be with all this back to school stuff. It wasn't really in the front, but it was in the stationary area. I did finally find it, basically the last aisle, not just the last aisle I checked, but the last aisle that there was to check in the stationary aisle. I did see the pen and gear stuff. So I stopped and it was a little bit of a mess. Things were picked over and um, nothing was above their price code, like the little price that's on the shelf. And packages had been opened, like the, the planners that come with inserts had kind of been opened and shuffled about. Um, but I dug through and I found the items that I was looking for. And I'm glad that I did get to see them in person because there were a few items that I thought that I wanted. And then after I looked at them, decided no. Anyway, I'm digging through all the stuff. I'm so excited. I'm finding all the things that I need. I'm finding all the things that 
I need the things that I want, the things that were on my wish list, the things that I had been looking for, and I was very excited about all of that, and then it hit me. Oh my gosh, I am standing in Walmart on a Saturday, getting back to school on tax holiday. I am never getting out of here alive. But then I realized, then I kind of looked around and I said, you know, it hasn't really been that bad. And nobody's elbowing me for the last notebook or for the last Hello Kitty pencil pouch or the last composition notebook. So maybe it'll be okay. Eh. So I found the items that I wanted. I filled up my cart. I put half of it back. And then I went, found some cute, cute, cute pajamas and remind me to tell you the rest of the pajama story at the end of this video. Except you can't remind me because I'm recording this. So when you watch it, I've already done it. I will remember, stay to the end and I will tell you um, the rest of the story about the pajamas. But I found some cute pajamas and I had all of my pen and gear items. And then I went to check out and it was a breeze. It was a breeze. I mean, yeah, I was standing behind somebody, but I mean, it wasn't any longer than any other line, like, you know, at the grocery store or anything else. I wasn't behind a big long line. There weren't people with, you know, piles and piles in their cart of, of uh, back to school supplies. It was just kind of shopping as usual. And so the experience was really pretty great. And um, I found my pen and gear item. Y'all, you didn't remind me. That's okay, hold on. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you about the Walmart pajamas because I have a little something to add. So Walmart pajamas, they were great. I found the cutest, cutest, cutest pajamas at Walmart. I love them. They're really well made, they're super soft. And here's the thing, this is why I was shopping for pajamas. All of my pajamas are too big, right? So, I mean, there are worse problems, I know. So, um, I'm like this close to like making another announcement on my weight loss journey. Spoiler, I've like lost 30 pounds, but don't tell anybody because I'm gonna put that in another video. So what I wanted to share with you though is, um, back in the spring, before I decided that I was going to try to lose weight, back before, you know, anything clicked when I just was, I just said, you know, this is just the way it is because I just don't care all of that, um, I bought new clothes. I had gone through all of my closets and gotten rid of clothes that didn't fit or clothes that I didn't like. And mostly, you know, if I didn't like them, it was because I didn't fit. And I had done that, you know, last year. So when summer rolled around, I realized I got rid of all my summer clothes. I don't like summer. And so it was easy to say I didn't like it, but I really got rid of just about everything for summer. And so I didn't have anything to wear going into summer. So I thought, what, what am I going to do? What will I do? I said, you know, I don't even care. I don't care what I look like. I don't care you know if I have cute clothes right now just I just don't care about anything and so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go to walmart.com because I don't like shopping in the walmart I don't like going but I'm just gonna go to walmart.com I'll order some clothes just like whatever plain old plain stuff just to get me through the summer and I'll just reevaluate in the fall I went online and I found the cutest clothes at Walmart I'm like who knew I have not been to Walmart in so long that I did not realize they have the cutest clothes the thing is the clothes were adorable and I was so surprised so well made they have held up all summer long the only thing is now they are too big, too big. Like, not just like a little loose, but they're obviously too big. And so I'm just gonna have to um, forward those on to somebody, you know, who can use them and who will enjoy them. But the thing is all of the cute fall clothes that I had that I was looking forward to wearing this fall are also too big. And I need, you know, a new fall wardrobe. So I thought I would like do a little challenge and I would kinda, I share it with y'all and kinda let y'all be in charge a little bit. I'm gonna go and buy my entire fall wardrobe from walmart.com. I am not going to Walmart. I'm not going into the Walmart. I'm not going to try the clothes on at the Walmart. I'm going to sort of guess um, based on, you know, what size I ordered back in the spring and how big that is on me to what size I need now. And I'm going to order my fall wardrobe online. And I would love to take you with me. So the first thing that I'll do, if you want, is I'll just, I'll take you online and show you what I'm looking at. The other thing is I'll be glad to show you my wardrobe when it arrives. But the other thing is I am asking you to tell me what my wardrobe budget is going to be for the fall. I ordered that summer wardrobe and I ordered items that I could wear to church and items that I could wear to work and a couple of items just to wear on, that I could wear on the weekend. And everything that I purchased from walmart.com back in the spring was $200. I think it was like $220, um, $200 for a whole wardrobe. So I'm gonna ask you to give me a limit for my fall wardrobe. What is my Walmart wardrobe budget. Y'all tell me in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to take you along on my online shopping trip. And if you'd like for me to show you what all I purchased when it arrives, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye y'all.